There are numerous nearly inhospitable places on Earth that humans are not really supposed to go, or at the very least, not spend a whole lot of time in, and deserts are one such place. They tend to be incredibly hot, humid, lacking in resources to survive, and they sometimes have creatures in them that can be rather deadly. And what arguably makes them worse is that there are far more of these deserts than you may realize. With that in mind, here now are the 20 deadliest and most dangerous deserts on Earth. Number 20. Death Valley Now, what better place to begin on a deadliest and most dangerous list than a place that literally has death in the name? Now, the irony of Death Valley in California is that parts of it can be fine if you're actually smart about it. I mean, after all, there is a national park there and people do visit it all the time. However, if you do go outside the park and attempt to brave the desert on your own, then you're likely going to become another statistic as to why this place can be so deadly. And of course, we should begin with the obvious. The temperature in Death Valley can get so hot that it's technically the hottest place in the entire world, especially during the summer months. And it also has the highest recorded temperature ever on Earth. What would that temperature be? Well, that's 56 degrees Celsius. So trust me, it's really, really hot and you would be able to fry and boil in that temperature. Now sure, there are some people who may dispute that record from 2013, but that's scientists for you, they can rarely agree on anything. Another reason you'll want to be very careful, should you even think about going to this desert, is that it's an incredibly dry place. That may sound obvious at first, but there are different levels to moisture amounts in deserts, and because Death Valley is surrounded by so many mountain ranges, it's even harder for the water to get down to the desert basin and be stored there. So if you don't bring your own water, you may well be out of luck. As for how the place got its legendary or infamous name, during the 1800s, the gold rush had people trying to cross from Nevada into California in order to seek their riches. But a lot of people perished as they tried to cross this giant expanse of desert. It was the prospectors themselves who had named the place Death Valley. While it's not as dangerous today because people do know about warnings and such, people do still die in this place every single year. Sometimes because of accidents due to the terrain, and others because they underestimate just how much supplies they need to bring and they die as a result of thirst or other similar things. So, if you even think about going there, well, as long as you stay where it's safe in the park, trust me, you're going to live a lot longer. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Chihuanohan Desert Now I'm going to stick in North America for a bit because while Death Valley is easily the most famous, or perhaps infamous, of deserts in that continent, it is hardly the largest. That title would go to this place which is hard to pronounce. That's because this desert is above 518,000 square kilometers across. That's quite the big desert, I would say. In the United States, it extends into parts of New Mexico, while Texas and sections of southeastern Arizona also fit into it. Plus, it goes far into Mexico, and when you have a desert that stretches across multiple states and countries, well, it's not exactly something you just decide to cross, unless you have a vehicle that is filled to the brim with supplies, and you're also potentially nuts. The good news is that if you were to attempt to cross this place during the winter time, you would probably be fine, as it can be a nice temperature during those periods. However, if you try and cross it during the more hot months, you'll be feeling the heat in the worst of ways. It doesn't help that the desert only gets to about 25 centimeters of rainfall a year in some places, so you're not really going to be finding much out there if you run out of water yourself. Yet, despite the harsh conditions, there is plenty of life in this desert. The desert boasts as many as 3,500 plant species, and that includes nearly a quarter of the world's cactus species. Some distinctive habitat types in the desert include yucca, woodlands, playas, gypsum dunes, and a diverse array of freshwater habitats. 
That's just one of the greater ironies about this particular desert. Depending on which part that you're in, you could see little to no plant life, or you could see a massive amount of grasslands that are full of plants and all kinds of things. Animals are abundant. The desert actually supports a large number of wide-ranging mammals like mule deer, pronghorn, jaguar, javelina, and the gray fox. In total, there are 130 species of animal that live within these desert sands. So, even though it's a place where humans would not survive without great effort, this should prove that when it comes to life, it really does find a way to make do even when it's in a hot desert. Number 18. Sonoran Desert Now we're sticking with North America because it has a lot of deserts to highlight including another one that happens to straddle between the United States and Mexico, and in this case, we would be in the Sonoran Desert. But that's where one of the big twists comes into play, because while it is a desert, it's one that also happens to be one of the most biodiverse in the world. How does that work? Well, it has a bunch of biomes within its 311,000 square kilometer space. For example, there is a tundra, a coniferous forest, a deciduous forest, grasslands, chaparrals, regular desert areas, and then there's also thorn scrubs, tropical forests, and something called a riparian community. That last one isn't technically a biome, but I'll just bundle it in together for ease. It's almost a disservice to call the place a desert, really, when it has all of this space with so much diversity, but sometimes that's just how a desert works. And it's also why it's a place that has plenty of wildlife. More than 100 reptiles, 60 mammals, and 350 birds can be found there, including some really unique species overall. But make no mistake about it, while there is plenty of life, it's not easy living there. No matter which of the biomes you find yourself in, you still have to deal with the incredible arid heat that can blast you all throughout the year. Plus, in the summer, there are actually monsoons. Yep, it is the opposite side of the water level scale with deserts. While it doesn't happen on the regular, when water does come into the desert, it can literally wash away anything within its path because it's just not used to it. So be mindful of the seasons if you should go and have a visit. Number 17. The Great Basin Desert now, we have technically been in this part of the desert before in this video, because Death Valley is inside of the Great Basin Desert. But I had to single that part out due to its prominence and particular deadliness. I'm basically doing a PSA with this video, and you're welcome. How big is the Great Basin Desert? Well, in the United States, it actually spans over many, many of the states. In total, about 500,000 square kilometers, which is quite large. But like other deserts that I've already talked about, and will end up talking about later, it's not only one giant slab of sand that we call a desert. There are several basins by which this desert is comprised, and that means that there's a great amount of biodiversity along the way with unique weather patterns. For example, this is one of the few places that I'll be talking about where snow actually occurs. Part of the reason for this is that the desert has an incredibly high altitude in certain places, and that means that it's actually high enough and cold enough for snow to actually happen. In fact, the Great Basin Desert is known as a cold desert due to its ability to have snow, and it gets more snow than it does rain, for the record. I mean, did you actually realize that Antarctica is classified as a desert as well? All of this leads to a very special problem that people will have should they try to attempt to brave this desert. It has peaks that can get over to 3,000 meters above sea level, and that means that if you were to go up to those places, you would have very little oxygen to breathe, and you could actually die if you're not careful. It's not just the heat that can get you in a place like this. There are other factors that you have to consider. But just be smart and consider not going to any desert at all. Number 16. The Gobi Desert. Now we're going to head over to Mongolia to talk about the sixth largest desert in the entire world, the Gobi Desert. But just how big do you have to be to be the sixth largest? Well, how about 1.3 million square kilometers? It's so big that it actually extends both into Mongolia and to China. Around 5% of the region is sand, and the desert is full of mountains and rocky cliffs and canyons. Sandstorms are common in the desert, and the extreme weather like droughts and harsh winters are also rather common, none of which you'll want to be part of should you decide to wander out there. 
If you haven't watched any desert movies recently, sandstorms can be incredibly violent, and if you're not careful, you'll end up being lost inside the blinding sands or even buried alive. And yes, it is actually possible. But it does get worse. Remember how I said it has some harsh winters? Mongolia has that problem with several of its main cities, which also includes its capital, but with the Gobi Desert, it has plummeted to temperatures of negative 40 degrees Celsius. So yes, this is another cold desert. Do you really need any more reasons not to go there? How about the wildlife, though? Not only will you find wild dogs, you'll also find plenty of snakes that are more than willing to bite you, including an adder and pit vipers. So, if you're feeling brave or even just a little bit maniacal, this may well be the place for you. But one last thing, the desert is so unpopulated that the only people who live out there are nomads, and there are said to be 0.3 people per square kilometer out in the desert. Number 15. The Atacama Desert Here we are in the Atacama Desert in Chile, right on the border with the Pacific Ocean, ironically enough. It is a much smaller desert compared to the one from Mongolia, as it's only about 105,000 square kilometers, but that also doesn't mean that you should just wander into it because it is still a dangerous place. For example, unlike the last few deserts that I've shown you, this is not a cold desert, it's actually a full-on host desert, and it's also one of the driest deserts in the world. It gets less water than certain deserts that are known for getting absolutely no water, and if you think about that, somehow it's a fog desert as well. I don't understand anything I just said. I just read the words on the screen. Now remember how I said that it borders the Pacific Ocean? Well, that's just part of why it's so dry here. It gets certain air currents that force it to have these kinds of conditions. And if you wish for even more proof of how arid the place is, well, how about this? Its terrain is so foreign to what other parts of the Earth have that it's used to train astronauts to get ready for Mars. Yes, the world believes that the Atacama Desert is a similar terrain and style to the surface of another planet. And that can be backed up as being otherworldly. While there are people and animals that do live in this desert, some parts of it are so arid that nothing can actually exist there. So, if plants and animals are able to survive in other parts and can't live in others, what chances does that provide for you? Number 14. Mojave Desert The Mojave Desert may perhaps be one of the most famous deserts in all of the United States. Of the major ones that are in North America, the Mojave is the smallest, but it still covers 124,000 square kilometers of land, so it's still some rough terrain to cross. Plus, it's another extremely hot and desolate place so it's not really something that you should go into lightly. Oh, and remember before when I talked about Death Valley? That is actually part of the Mojave. It's one of its literal valleys on the northern side, meaning that the Mojave has some of the hottest temperatures ever recorded on Earth. However, there is a twist to this tale. You see, while the Mojave is dangerous, it also has the perfect conditions for certain tests and world record attempts. The flat ground is perfect for racing across, and if you recall the show Mythbusters, they actually repeatedly go out into the Mojave to do various experiments because they could do all kinds of insane things without bringing harm to anyone. That even included their very first myth to air, which was the JATO rocket car. That just goes to prove that even the most deadliest of places does have its use. Number 13. The Arabian Desert the Arabian Desert is one of the biggest deserts out there, with a scale of about 2.3 million square kilometers. Now, for context, you could put the entirety of the country of France into that desert and still have room for about, oh, three more Frances. That's how big the desert actually is. In fact, when it comes to size and scale, it is actually the second largest desert around. And like many of the other deserts I've already talked about, this is a true one, in the sense that rainfall is incredibly small, and downright non-existent at times. Yet, it's also one that can have rather low temperatures, even leading to dew forming on the sand. It can get so windy that a massive sandstorm kicks up, it just depends on the day. And the irony of it all is that this region is legendary for some of the things that it produced. That also includes the incredibly tough Arabian people, 
who survived in these conditions and the horses that were born here that could withstand the desert sun. To this day, the Arabian horse is one of the most revered and sought after horse breeds in the entire world. Number 12. The Sahara Desert Now we're going to head off to Africa for the first time to talk about the massive and expansive and insanely deadly place known as the Sahara Desert. However, it should also be noted that in scientific terms, it's not really the biggest desert around because the cold deserts of the Arctic and Antarctica are actually bigger. But if we're talking about true sand deserts, this one is the boss, not the least of which is because it covers over 9 million square kilometers. Would you like to guess all of the countries that could fit into this desert? Well, here's a hint, it is a lot of them. In fact, the square kilometer span could match China or even the United States. So yeah, a big desert, and as you all likely know from television shows and movies, it's really, really hot. The hottest ever temperature recorded there was 58 degrees Celsius, and it averages over 30 degrees Celsius on the regular. In terms of rainfall, there are some parts that will only get 2.5 centimeters of water in the entire year. And even with all of this deadly space in this place, there is beauty to behold. The legendary sand dunes of the Sahara have inspired many things, which includes a certain movie franchise that's going through a revival. And there are many animal and plant species that actually call it home. Still though, you probably don't want to go there unless you have a really good reason, and even then, you may be pushing it. Number 11. The Taklamakan Desert Now, I just mentioned China, so why not go there to talk about its biggest and deadliest desert? In this case, that would be the Taklamakan Desert, and I'll get right to the point with it because it's so hot that much of its massive space is barren and full of nothing but hot sand and rocks. That's also why it's had temperature recordings that nearly break records, if not break them entirely depending on who you would talk to. Some dangerous animals that inhabit this desert include wolves, venomous snakes, and boars, and given how sparse that things like food and water are, they're not exactly going to take kindly to you being around because you might be a foe trying to get their supply, or you could just be a tasty meal that they've been craving for a while. So, with over 320,000 square kilometers of sand, rocks, heat, and death, you can understand why I think that you shouldn't go there. I'm really just trying to help you stay alive. Number 10. The Karakum Desert you know that you're in a never-ending desert when that thing fills up about a three-fourths of the country that you're in. Such is the case of the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan, and given that it's 350,000 square kilometers, that should really tell you how not much bigger the country is. This is also another one of those dry deserts, known for having long and hot dry summers. Yet in the wintertime, things can be warm on the cooler side of things, and when it wants to be hot, it can get up to 34 degrees Celsius on the regular. Oh, and have you ever heard of the Hell's Gate crater in the country? It's in this desert, so it's actually a gateway to hell. <laughs> How nice. Number 9. The Kislakum Desert When you hear something that is the 15th largest desert in the world, you might not be all that impressed. But given that this one is 298,000 square kilometers, I would be most hesitant to call it small by any stretch of the means. Plus, it's larger than certain countries, and you can still actually die here. But there is a twist in the historical sense. It was part of Asia's famous Silk Road, and many dared to cross the desert to gain its riches. What kind of riches, you ask? Well, this desert had gold, natural gas, oil, silver, and aluminum, all of which are worth a whole bunch of money, both then and now. So you can see why the place holds great significance to the people of Central Asia. It was one that unlocked many riches for them in the end. Number 8. The Namib Desert Now we'll head back to Africa to talk about what's called the world's oldest desert. You may have thought that it was the Sahara, but it's actually the Namib. And while I don't actually know exactly how long it's been a desert, the best estimates put it at at least 55 million years. 
That's a really long time to basically be nothing but sand. Plus, it's also one of the driest places on the planet, barely getting any centimeters of rain per year. Yet, almost counterintuitively, the desert has 180 days of fog. Does that make any sense at all? Even with these weird conditions, you'll find plenty of animals wandering around. This includes lions and rhinos, elephants and more. Also, the sands are so expansive that they've been known to bury entire villages that don't maintain their upkeep. Deserts can be really angry and mean when they want to. Number 7. The Antarctic Desert Now, I talked about it earlier, so I'll dive right into it. The Antarctic Desert is within the frozen continent, and that's why it's technically a desert. It's that way because of the terrain and conditions that make it into a desert, just with snow instead of sand. And while some of you may argue that I've exaggerated the ways that previous deserts were deadly, here's a hint. I didn't. There's no doubt that if you go in unprepared, into the Antarctic desert, you are going to die. Now, I say that because the place can get so cold, thanks to the wind and natural snow and ice all around, that you can go into hypothermia in less than 30 minutes. Oh, and did I mention it gets to minus 90 degrees Celsius? Because it can, not to mention, where are you going to get help in this 13.6 million square kilometer Arctic tundra? That's what I thought. Number 6. The Tabernas Desert Now I'm going to the warmer deserts because that Antarctica one was just depressing. In fact, we'll go to Spain, where we're going to talk about the Tabernas Desert. What makes this one so much better than some of the other ones that I've shown you is that this one's rather small, only about 280 square miles in fact, which is downright paltry compared to the other ones we've discussed. And that's where I'm going to take a more positive turn, because this place isn't only popular, it's actually a tourist destination. It's been used in multiple television shows and movies, which includes being used for multiple locations in HBO's adaptation of Game of Thrones. This one's located in Spain's Almeria province and is actually Europe's only desert. The arid landscape is characterized by dry riverbeds, rugged mountains, and vast plains, and surprisingly, it also supports a variety of flora and fauna adapted to its environment. As I said, it is a tourism destination, and visitors can explore its unique terrain, which also includes limestone formations and canyons, and learn about the cultural and geological significance of the place. There are conservation efforts underway to protect its fragile ecosystem while promoting sustainable tourism within the region. Number 5. Simpson Desert The Simpson Desert is one that you can find in Australia, a place that is known for being both barren and hot in certain spots, so having a great big desert isn't all that much of a stretch at all. It is the fourth largest Australian desert with an area of over 176,000 square kilometers. One of the more curious elements of this place is that they have parallel sand dunes, which are actually held in place by local vegetation. It is quite the sight, as you can see. Some of the dunes can be over 40 meters in height, so while exploring this place may be fun, you should also be careful if you end up going there. Number 4. Patagonian Desert now we head to South America, where we find ourselves in Argentina, which has the Patagonian Desert, standing as the eighth largest desert in the world, with an area of over 673,000 square kilometers. Not unlike another desert in South America, this one is trapped by major landmarks. In this case, that would be the Andes Mountains and the Atlantic Ocean. Equally as interesting, there is actually an archipelago of islands just off the coast of the desert. However, despite it being a place where the moisture can sometimes be sucked right out of it, it's a rather cold place, which many attribute to its close proximity to Antarctica. In fact, the winter season here spans about seven months out of the year. Number 3. The Thar Desert The desert covers parts of India and Pakistan, which helps to highlight its 200,000 square kilometer size. But the reason that I wanted to talk about this one is that unlike literally every other desert I've talked about so far, this one has a large community of people. There are about 80 people per square kilometer, which makes it the most populated desert in the entire world. Furthermore, it's stated that around 5,000 years ago, 
There were multiple advanced civilizations that lived in these desert areas, and while they're obviously gone now, it just goes to show how ancient cultures were willing to make camp just about anywhere. To that end, there are dozens of species of animals that live in this desert, including bulls, gazelles, and even certain types of cats. Number 2. Dasht e Kavir Iran is a country that most people would associate with sand, so it's not a surprise they have a desert of their own. In this case, that's the Dasht e Kavir Desert. Spanning over 77,000 square kilometers, it's not really the biggest one around, but as I've already proven, it doesn't really need to be big to be deadly. For example, there are multiple salt marshes and plates that can be harmful if you're not careful, as it's literally full of salt water, meaning that it's not drinkable. Now, the high temperatures and low humidity do cause extreme vaporization, which leaves the marshes and mud grounds with large crusts of salt, and salt really helps to spike up the temperature. Number 1. The Great Victoria Desert Australia is known for its hot spots all throughout the country, especially as you go further away from the coast. And with the Great Victoria Desert, it is the largest of its kind in the country. So if you go there unprepared, you are likely going to die. Such fun! In total, it has an area of close to 349,000 square kilometers, but within that area are several biomes where all kinds of wildlife roam free. In fact, the reptile population and its diversity is one of the key attractions for the Great Victoria Desert. This is why the place is so heavily protected by the Australian government. At the present time, nearly a third of the desert has government protections in order to ensure the animals and other life are not threatened. You may think that it's odd that a desert would get such protections, but you have to protect natural life wherever it may be found. That's all from the deserts of the world and why they're so dangerous. Which one of these deserts are you not going to visit, and which one fascinated you the most? Have you actually been to any of these? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. You should also check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.